look at controls control simple refers to the act of what directing the automobile vehicle to move to a particular direction that you the operator wish and we have two types of controls we have the hands control and the foot control so with the hands control simple refers to the things that you use your hands to operate in the vehicle and the foot control simple refers to the things that you use your foot to operate so now let's get into the car and see things that we use our hands to operate now if i sit this way the steering wheel is my hand this is hands control I, the steering wheel is my hand the traffic gator is my hand the wiper switch is my hand the mirror is my hand the horn is my hand the seat adjuster is my hand the gear lever is my hand the handbrake is my hand so these are components in the car that we use our hands to control and with the foot control we, with the manual car we have the clutch which is for my left leg and the brake which is in the middle and this is as our later so this is the clutch the brake and as our later and they are for the what we call the foot control now we have as i said earlier on we have two basic types of control that is a hands control and then the foot control with the steering wheel which is our hand we hold it the manufacturer have already designed the steering wheel in the form of in the way that we're supposed to hold it fix our hand so the whole steering wheel is in the form of what 360 and half of it is the 180. if we are using the clock format this is 12 1 2 3 12 11 10 9 then we'll hold it 3 and 9 position so if i'm on the road and i've observed the hazard and it demands me to reposition my steering wheel then i position it this way and straighten it this way or reposition it this way or i'll slow down by pressing the claw fully and tapping the brake slowly this is how we hold the steering wheel but if i'm going to initiate a curve it's what we call pull and push pull and push i'll pick it i'll leave if i'm going to the left i'll show my traffic gator pick it from here and i'll pull it like this and go like this that is what we call pull and push mm? so this is what we call controls any question so far with a gear lever it is used to select gears that is first gear second gear neutral third fourth neutral keep i'll go to this side neutral reverse i'll come this way this is neutral the stronger gear to move the car is the gear one and then reverse gear they are the strongest gears that can set the vehicle on motion i hope you are clear with that then the next one is the handbrake it's also your hand that we use the handbrake is your hand there is the handbrake which we popularly call it the emergency brake you can lift it up bring it down like this if you are pulling it up you bring it up like this which is also your hands control which is also your hands control and the radio is your hands control the hazard light there is a radio is your hands control then the hazard light is also your hands control when you switch on your hazard light it will give you two double traffic data if you want to put it off it's your hand again you use to press and that is what we mean by hands control so in short hands controls are things we use our hands to operate in the car now we talk of instrumental cluster with the instrumental cluster a simple refers to the panel board the panel board is made up of certain parameters used to measure the component in the vehicle or some component in the vehicle we have the fuel gauge we have the fuel gauge we also have the speedometer we have the tachometer we have the odometer and some also have 
temperature gauge. So with this four gauge, when I turn off my when I turn on my key like this, it will rise up the four gauge and tell me the actual quantity of fuel I have. Some cars you don't even need to switch on the key, it will show you where the quantity of fuel you have. And then the speedometer, when the vehicle is on the road on motion, it will tell you the actual speed at which the vehicle is moving. And the tachometer tells us the speed of the engine, whether stationary or on motion. Then the odometer tells us the number of kilometers the vehicle have covered. And that is what we mean by what instrumental cluster or panel board. And we also have warning signal light on the panel board. This is your seat belt. This is alternator light, which is the battery light. This is your handbrake. This is your oil light, door agile light, onboard diagnostic indicator, anti lock brake system. That is the warning signal light on the panel board. Anytime you start your car, all these lighting systems are supposed to what? go off. If one particular light is still there, it is, telling, it is warning you that something is wrong with the vehicle. So if I start the vehicle like this, now this means that I did not put on my seat belt. As soon as I fasten my seat belt, that light is supposed to go off. When I fasten the seat belt like this, it has taken off. If my seat belt is removed like this, it is there. When I fasten like this, it is off. Because the door is open, that is the symbol there, it is warning us that one of the door is not properly locked or closed. And this is the handbrake light. It is also there. And this one, we call it onboard diagnostic indicator. That means that if you are... <coughs> driving and it is so on it tells you that either the lower arm or the engine something is wrong with it so it is diagnosing it for you to what go for them to fix it and then the abs abs stands for anti-lock brake system okay so that is a warning signal light on the panel board which we call instrumental cluster thank you very much keep on watching my episode and then share, like, and subscribe.